All right, everybody, this is Bull and Kool-Aid. We're going to run through here and see if we can't get a full-on 511 launch on this new TNT cannon, human launcher. All right, go ahead. Hit the button. Let's see what we got. You got your map out? Yep, got it out. All day, if you want. I don't know. And 479. Uh, <laughs> were you holding A? No. No. No, I wasn't holding A. Hold A next time. Alright, so 479, that's a really good launch. Like, compared to what we get in the past, have gotten in the past. So let's see. Let's line this up again. Line up with the middle here. Make sure we're near the middle here. <sighs> Right, and I'm gonna ready? give a lot of credit to Pritch here because he uh he did he worked on all this timing to get it right. All right, so we're gonna hold A. Do a hot motion. Yeah. Hold. All right, ready? Yep. Hold A. You going up and down really quickly? Yeah, that's how I got it. And <laughs> four ninety. Uh -huh. And for those of y'all that are watching this that don't know, 5.11 is actually the ceiling of the whole world. Um, so now what I want to do, I'm going to fly up to 5.11. What? Well, launch me up. <laughs> and then you launch up and see if you come up there to where I'm at. So far this is still the record human launcher that i found. There's not any that launches higher on the Xbox 360 version that I've seen any YouTube channel score. Alright. And... Never mind, as well. And, and, I well, yeah, I didn't mention, yeah, just saying, man, I'm still only at 250... Oh, shit. Okay. I'm at 270 right now. You're going on. But, uh... Hold the up and the pad as well, when they... It was slightly faster. And... Pritch on his world had one that got up to 511 also, so we're uh, <laughs> trying to make right. that happen here. Tell me when you're. Plus, mine's going from bedrock also. BTW. Alright, so I am at 511 right now. Alright, I'm pressing it. 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Five eleven. Oh, and there he was. And I can see. You. Oh, you. So you see that it does launch to five eleven. Nice. So, what we're gonna do? It's I'm gonna pretty... fly down here real quick, <laughs> and we're gonna show you how it works real quick. Let's see. I'm gonna drop down. Take a second to fall. Oh, there we are. Okay. So basically what we had to do, this is a 1x20 with the TNT in it. Um, there's a, a standing area down here that doesn't count. That's where you stand. But anyway, it's 20 TNT that drop down in a one space. So that the entire concussion of the blast affects you, the, fall, the flyer. And uh, the top one has zero clicks. Now as you go up, each one, we had to adjust the timing on each level. Wheel. I say we, but it was mainly Pritch. Um, and the way he tested this out was we would put he would put uh, pistons on the outside of each level so that when it lit up you could see the pistons. And once all the pistons all the way down were going off in sync, then that's how we knew the timing was right. And uh, basically, as you can see, there's more and more. As you go down, there's more and more clicks, more and more repeaters. Because if you just let it go, the bottom and not ignites first so you get all the way down here to the bottom and that's the bottom level the redstone the TNT and then uh, that's where you stand and you can push the button yourself or I mean, we've had both ways where we had it walled up and somebody else pushed the button but basically that's it and that's uh, that's how it falls There he goes. 485. <laughs>
See, so we're we're consistently oh, hitting. Same old does go back. We're consistently yeah. hitting high four hundreds, and you saw him get to five eleven just a minute ago, and that's the actual ceiling of the world. So, from bedrock to five eleven, and this is an amazing launcher. And we're gonna wrap this up. So say bye to everybody, Pritch. Bye. All right, guys. Talk to y'all soon.